What is up, Poke Peeps and Masters? It is Russ here, Poke Russ here, and we are back, back for. I got a new mat, so we're gonna pop this open. I'm super excited. We're over bottom dollar trading cards here. I'm gonna pop this open, and we're gonna check out the new mat I ordered, which I also kind of I helped design it, so pretty excited about that. We got some Dokkan imagery, and I don't want to spoil too much. I got a box cutter, so I didn't struggle on camera. I'm still struggling on camera. So I ordered this from Inked Gaming. Um, pretty excited, so let's pop this out. It's nice and stitched. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. That looks nice. Oh, that's gonna look nice in some videos, not gonna lie. You can see the nice stitch ed edging. I wasn't sure what what the kind of stitching it would have because the image showed white stitching, but this is this is just really nice. It matches the. This is just really freaking nice. So yeah, I wore this from Ink, uh, Inked Gaming. You should check them out on Facebook. I'll leave a description down below. I'm not sponsored or anything, but hey, if you want to sponsor me, what's up? Uh, but picked this mat up over there. I designed it. It looks pretty freaking sweet, and we're gonna see it in some upcoming videos. What is up, Poke Peeps and Masters? It is Russ here, Poke Russ here, and we are back. Back for a new Dragon Ball Super TCG deck profile, another deck tech. I guess you, as you can see probably by the video right in front of us, I got a spicy new mat. So we're going to be doing deck profiles and stuff on this. You'll probably see this at, uh, see this mat with me at events. Speaking of which, I will be going to the Chicago uh, celebration. So if you're there, come over, say hi. We'll chat a little bit, and yeah, it'll be fun. So today's deck profile, we're going into a spicy off-the-wall build. Um... This isn't going to be something you, I'm going to say, take to regionals and do well. I mean, you might on a surprise factor, but this is more something that you're kind of like, ah, oh, the meta's kind of stale. I don't know. It's, it, it's a good deck. Don't get me wrong. It's a good deck. Trust me, I've tested it. But it's, one of the, it's, it's just a surprise factor deck that your opponent's just like, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That is what? Oh, 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 crap baskets. But just, to, just as a... PSA. This deck auto loses the mill. Just, just gonna put that out there. So, let's get into this. We're running the Dende Piccolo leader. So let's just pop this out of this cool little sleeve I have. Um, just because you can't really see the back. So, we do have the Dende leader, which, permanent. Uh, this card cannot attack. Burst 2, active main, burst 2. Uh, switch this card to rest mode, and then Choose two Dragon Balls from your deck or life and add them to your hand, then shuffle the areas that you look through. When all seven Dragon Balls are in the discard pile, choose one Namekian from your drop area, add it to your hand, and then flip this card over. So the, the leader on this side is once per turn, choose one. Either draw a card, choose a yellow desire from your hand with energy cost equal to or less than your current energy and activates main skill, or remove seven Dragon Balls uh, to do something with a Namekian, which we're never doing. So. So, 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 so. Um, we can do some really spicy things with this leader. We This is the leader that Frieza wanted last set. So last set, all these Frieza cards came out and they were super hype and you were like, oh man, I really like them and we can do all this cool stuff with them and then the Frieza leader was just like, I'm a sorbet. So, he was kind of booty butt cheeks. So, we decided to rock this deck with this leader today put this right over here there's a quite a bit of shine there so we'll put you over here okay so the goal of this deck is to drop this or one of these so this is a mono yellow deck bar the red freeze of the army but the free freeze army were born you can drop this as early as turn th any of these as early as turn three so like it's absolutely insane you're probably low-key not going to get them every game turn three but the way you do that so let's go over these cards real quick so Frieza's Army Reborn, it's the ultimate from Clash of Fates. Quadruple Strike, ultimate. When when you have two or less life, this card, uh, energy cost is reduced by three. That doesn't affect us. And when you play this card, your opponent reveals their hand. Choose one uh, choose one card from it and place it in their drop area. Then choose all of your opponent's battle cards, 40,000 or less, ignoring barrier, and KO them. So pretty strong, 40,000 attack. Obviously, big game ender. Next is Freezy Pop. Emperor of Universe 7. So, he normally evolves off of a Universe 7 Frieza, blah, 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 but we don't care about that. We're working on cheating him into play. He has Triple Strike when your leader is yellow. 
your opponent, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I don't know. We have yellow leader. Duh. If your leader is yellow, your opponent's counter skills and non-keyword autos uh, and activate skills cannot be activated unless they choose one of their life to send one of their life to the drop area. Super cool. Uh, super locks down a lot of things. Your opponent has to be really careful how they do their skills and stuff like that. So the, these cards just come in, like I said, as early as turn three in the perfect world. And you're going to get it off a, a, a decent amount because what you do is you mill them. Or you mill things. You mill things. Actually, you mill them. I like You mill them. So, how do we get them out on turn three? This turn seven. <laughs> so this is cooler. Once per turn... You can uh, remove one battle card from the game. Remove one of your battle cards from the game. Choose uh, choose two of your opponent's battle cards. Switch them to rest mode. Then choose one cooler's army or squadron or freezes clan other than cooler from your drop area and play it. So this speeds these guys out into play. So how do we get this out on turn three, right? With secret evolution cooler. So if you have three or more uh, coolers armored squadron in your drop area. All coolers in your hand get three Evo. Three yellow Evo. Pretty spicy. So this, we play four of this. This goes into this. And this plays one of these from your drop area for free. By by popping one of the guy, your guys on field. Which you have a bunch of little guys that you can pop on the field, which is no big issue. So you get this out turn three. This locks down your opponent. This basically just says, I freaking win. You, you sit there and... Uh, pop there in a gate he has quadruple strike like what what is your opponent gonna do when they're facing down this that guy like really so realistically you're probably gonna usually hit this turn four but uh you can hit it as early as turn three so what do we what else we got i i, I just gotta remember i don't need to move these because i'm actually doing a big setup so for the coolers armor squadron we're running four dore which these aren't these guys aren't bad so this one's a blocker, and this, this is KO'd. Choose one Cooler's Army Squadron other than Dory in your drop area and play it. So, you can play Niaz if, if this thing gets scared, if you summon it. You're probably never summoning it, but it is an option, and you do have Child's Wish, wish if you were born this. It's a blocker. Get rid of it. It plays this. Blah, 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 blah. Niaz, when you play this card, this card gains double strike for the duration of the turn. Pretty spicy. Rarely ever going to get that effect off because, I mean... If you're playing it off Dore, it's going to be probably on your opponent's turn after they KO it, uh, and stuff like that. So it's not super relevant, but if you happen to Child's Wish it and you just need a double striker to win the game, I mean, it's there. So you're trying to mill these into the drop area. You're trying to get at least three of these in the drop area. You can also add Salsas if you want. I looked over Salsa and looking at the numbers in the deck, um, and playing the testing with it a couple times, like, you really don't need Salsa. You actually really do mill a lot, and, like, it's just, you're never playing Salvo, so it's just, it's just a space waster. So you have Fledgling Talent Pen at your tur as a turn one play. Uh, turn one, um, once per turn, choose one card in your hand, place it in the drop area, draw one card. This is, this is how you get cards out of your hand to the drop, to get these out of your hand, to get these, these guys out of your hand, to get these going, rare and to go. Right? Plus... Cheap turn one to sack off for this. Next, you have Nail, which is part of your mill squad. Uh, Nail, uh, auto burst two at the end of the battle in which you comboed with this card from your hand. If your leader is Namekian, you may play this card in rest mode. You have to burst two, so that mills two off your deck. Boom. So you have mill with your leader, mill here, you have fledgling pan discarding as well, and this gives you a free guy you just did on board to remove for game from this. Plus, it's an Namekian you can pull back for this, so you can mill more if you need to. Pretty standard. It's the only Namekian we actually play. Next, we play Personal Ambition. It's a nice yellow uh, skill that we can play for free, and it allows us to untap. So, if you awaken on turn 3 uh, and do all this crazy injury, you can start, if, if you need to, you can start untapping your energy with Personal Ambition for free with uh, your leader. So you get to play this for free. It you draws you a card, then untaps a card. So it untaps basically an energy for absolutely free. You can play a second personal ambition if you have it or something like that. It does the same, like, that one you pay, untap, blah, 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 blah. It's super crazy. I do wish I could fit more in the deck, but I think two is a pretty nice number. Um, our super combo of the deck is Divine Cry Beerus. It's your sparking. You're always going to have it live. Always. Like, with the amount of mill, like... 
It's it's insane. And with without you using, actually, to be honest, I just thought of this because I'm not used to using like Overrealm cards in a like uh, Wish deck. You could totally splash uh, Overrealm cards in here because uh, you're not using your last effect to remove the Dragon Ball. So what do you care? Other other than sparking, what do you care? So you have your four Beeruses. You're taking one Bad Ring Laser. Just for that spicy end game and the amount you draw and mill and do all that kind of stuff, it's just it, it's just it's just it, you don't need it all the time, but it's just like that extra win con. Uh, you're running two assimilate, which allows you to if you don't open up with a nail, it allows you to open up with a nail. So it basically gives you six nails in deck, which is pretty spicy. That way you do have it for your mill and you have it for your piccolo and you have it for all that kind of stuff. So it's it it just ups the consistency and all that. And it's a free spell, so it, it pretty much re instantly replaces itself and allows you to get to new cards quicker. <laughs> We're rocking two time magic. These are your negates. Counter, you can play it with if you don't have things, because you do tap out on turn three, and if you don't win on turn three, you might have to use your sparking ability. And obviously, it's literally live as as early as turn one. Like, it's absolutely insane. Because you're milling two, you grab two dragon balls, there's four cards right there, and that's not saying you do anything with their, your fledgling talent pan, and this, that, and the other thing. There's your, there's your uh, sparking five right there, and it switches something to rest mode, blah, 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 blah. You know what Time Magic does. I don't need to explain, but... Last but not least, actually not last, but I mean, we're playing 7 Perunga Dragon Balls. Uh, we're only playing Perunga Dragon Balls because, I mean, theme. You have Frieza, you have Cooler, they both took over Namek, they both did the same thing, you have to have the Perunga Dragon Balls, come on. Come on! Last but not least, we're rocking Child's Wish. So, how this actually plays out on turn 3 is you do your stuff, you mill out, right? And then turn 2, you're able to mill this guy. You hard cast Child's Wish, bring it out for 2, you pass. They probably can't get rid of this on turn 2 while it's inactive. Very little cards allow you to do that. There is some, but uh, that this is what happens. You charge your 3rd mana, you go into this, you do this, you do that. And you just look at your opponent and cry. Plus, if you don't get the perfect thing off and you do have mill these milled, you can obviously Child's Wish, Niaz on turn 2 if you wanted to. Give a double strike, you could get a nice blocker out if you're facing an aggro deck. With Dore, Dore can get you out Niaz for the, the offensive stuff like that. So, like, there's a lot of plays you can do. If you need to, you can pull back. Like, I don't know why you'd want to pull back, like, Pan and stuff like that, but you could. If you, you just needed the, if you needed the strats. But, that's pretty much a deck. I... <laughs> It's it's absolutely crazy. Like the turn three play when, like the turn three or turn four, four play when you get this double breaker, and either this triple breaker or what did I do with what did I do with big guy McGee? This quadruple breaker, it's just absolutely crazy, and it's a very fragile deck in a sense. But it goes off a decent amount of time, and like this is something you definitely would take to locals just to like spice up the meta. Take that surprise, surprise victory, and just get to walk away with some tournament packs. But this is probably one of the last deck profiles of this set. We're probably going to go in. Uh, I'm going to try to start next week, and we're going to go into some theory crafting and stuff like that for new set stuff. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a deck tech actually, but we'll at least go on to uh, like deck DBS decks and go over some new decks from next format and stuff like that. So if any of that content tickles your fancy, we're going to have some gameplay content with. This beautiful new mat coming soon. We have some speed dueling. We have pack openings. We do all that kind of stuff over here. We do Dragon Ball Super. We do Dokkan Battle. All that kind of stuff. Any that tickles your fancy. Like I said, hit that like and subscribe button down below. While you're there, while you're there, um, click on one of those links down below. Follow me on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, any of those kind of things to know when I go live or maybe I'll post them in an event. Maybe some packs or pack, small pack opening over on Instagram or something like that. Hit me up if any of that, like I said, tickles your fancy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Boker us out. Peace.